Hi everyone, I'm just doing a new set of nails and I'm here to show you the quick tutorial on this. I'm just showing you here me build up my structure in clear acrylic powder. The nail has already been prepped and primed um, using Neo Nails Acid Free Nail Primer. I'm still using the N the Neo Nails uh, clear acrylic powder and monomer and my pro acrylic size 8 brush metal handle from organic nails I'm just building up this structure now for my design to go on top of making sure that it's not too thick at all I want it really really thin keeping the shape as neat as I can with my brush I've said it once and I'll say it again, <laughs> the more you do with your brush, the less you have to file. So I'm just pushing that into the side walls there so I know that I've got a good join. Okay, I'm using NSI's Peach Blush here, and I am making a nail bed, reverse method style. Reverse method is really good if you're not that great at doing smile lines the normal way. I'm absolutely crap at doing smile lines the French way, so I find reverse method much better because you can put your shape there, and if it isn't exactly perfect, you can then just file it and then push your colour up to that smile line. So you're getting that crisp smile line. I'm actually extending the nail bed here as well, which is also another good thing. If you have clients or you yourself are a nail biter, well, if you have like French, then you find it looking like you have lots of tip and no nail bed so this is a really good way this is how I would do my nail biting clients I would build them and extend their nail bed first so I'm just showing you here me trying to get that shape as nice as possible making sure it's like in the middle and even <clears throat> and now I've filed it to a crisp point and just roughly over okay I'm using black acrylic and I'm just pushing that with my brush up to that smile line and trying to keep it again thin because I'm going to add another layer over this and I do have to encapsulate this nail as well. Black is such a really really pain in the bomb to work with because it sticks all over your brush, it dyes your liquid, it gets everywhere. So just make sure that it, it's, I mean I'm saying this but in a minute I use a really wet bead but with black Try and get that bead as dry as possible and you're not going to have much mess as if it's wet. It's going to be running everywhere and just making a whole load of black mogginess. Okay, so I'm just trying to like get that smile line still crisp. Although you don't have to worry massively about getting little bits on that because once you file you're going to file away that until your 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 extended nail bed should be higher it should be the highest point so when you're pushing your acrylic up and doing whatever you need to do once you file over that you're always going to just file into that smile line so it's still that nice crisp smile line so don't panic too much if you do get some on that pink it's not a massive major <clears throat> so again here I am just using the brush trying to get that up into them little corners so this is where I'd use the bead to where you can see it just flapping around every time I'm pushing it and just cleaning away that black Okay, so right now I'm going to be adding some clear acrylic powder over that black. I'm going to keep it quite thick because I am going to put um, 
once this goes matte, I'm going to get my net in and I'm just going to dip that net into some clear acrylic powder and so it doesn't stick to that acrylic and I'm just going to indent that netting design onto that clear. Okay, so when that dries, I am then going to put some um, turquoise acrylic powder. This is from Young Nails, and I think it is actually just called turquoise. And I'm going to push that into the cracks then. I was inspired for this design by um, the wonderful Nikki from Absolute Nails, because I saw her using this net a couple of times now. And... I decided to give it a wee go to so thanks Nick. <laughs> Once that's dry you then file away all that excess until you're left with that design. I'm then using some blue glitter. This is actually from um, an organic nails collection that I have. It's the horoscope. I think it is Aries. I think. Don't quote me on that. Or Aquarius one of the two and I'm just gonna like dab that around around the smile line the little gaps that I've missed just to give it that little something house and a bit of definition there after I've done that with the glitter I'm then gonna put I have some like uh, it's like brownie shell pieces and these were actually from the pound shop and it, I wanted them in the little holes they don't show up humongously, they just give off a shimmer and that's what I wanted, that was the look I was going for. Once I was finished with that nail I did cap it, I just didn't show you. On this nail I wasn't really sure what to do with it to be fair. I did start doing some 3D flowers then I didn't like them and I ended up just sticking with the whole netting design. So I'm just putting some clear powder over that nail, entire nail. and waiting for it to go matte. I did think that I pushed the netting in when it was slightly too wet. If you look when I take it off towards the end of the nail, once I've taken it off the acrylic is still running. You don't really want that, that's not you're gonna lose that. So I'm here a lot, I'm trying to put them lines back, but I do think I should have waited a little bit longer to put that netting on. Okay, once I'm done with that, I am just going to fill it in with black and blue. And then I did file away. Then I did add some glitter and some shells and cap it. I file and buff all the nails, clean them away and add your top coat. And I'm going to leave this video here with you now. Thank you, as always, for watching. I do appreciate the support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.